good boy. All right, we're out of tractor supply with Dante. I uh, decided to call myself a liar and come out a little early. As Dante needs it. I want to make sure he doesn't get overwhelmed too much, but I've got his little play toy to keep him distracted, like you see, and I'll keep him neutral. He'll stay away from people, just walk around the store. And right now, he's so into going after things like this that I almost can't get it away from him. So, great thing to distract him. I'm going to go ahead and pick him up, see if I can get him and let it go. Excuse the jumble, guys, but I got no hands. Come on, Dante, come on. There you go, good. All right, so we got his little harness on, so he's got that. I'm going to tuck this out of the way so he has to face the world a little bit and then redirect him when he gets to a point where he starts to get a little bit weak, if he does. Very natural. So, my opinion, and this is basically my opinion from doing dogs since I've been about 12, is that all puppies have a certain amount of fear and insecurity when it comes to going out in the environment. And these uh, herding breeds, probably more so than other dogs, because their whole life is built on suspicion, right? Mm-hmm. Let me get to see if I can get out of here. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. Good dog. Yay. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. So we're just going to keep him neutral away from people, let them walk by and let him just kind of see it, right? We're just showing him the world at this point. And then every now and then I'll pick him back up with this little toy he had and throw it. And we'll do this for a few times here in tractor supply until he gets so used to it that he kind of becomes oblivious to that. And we'll just get increase, slowly increase each thing. Now, there's a few trainers running around judging these puppies, and they're doing all kinds of posting on Instagram and everything, and they're, they're acting like their dogs are the biggest thing since sliced bread. They walk in anywhere. Dogs just acting like an adult dog, and I disagree. I think they're hiding it from you, and they're not letting you see any of it. They're acting it in the dog between the two, two of them or whoever's working the animal and getting the dog used to a certain decoy, and then that person becomes their little play toy, which is very natural. So then they let the dog take bites off of that one individual. The dog's already acclimated to them. No big deal. You bring in somebody different, and they're going to be shying away. So I don't want to get into a pissing contest with these people, but it really irritates me when they basically are disgenuous. They're all trying to, good boy, good. Trying to make themselves look good with all the positive and not show any of the negative. And this is all part of life. And then working a dog through it and being a trainer that can work a dog through it and having that skill is what I really think is, is quality, you know. If you don't have a skill and you go, oh, I don't like this dog because the dog freezes up when you're trying to walk into a new place and you just took the dog away from the litter, just got him in the car and you go down to Home Depot and right away, first thing you do, the dog freezes up. What do you think the dog's going to do as a baby? And you trying to act like that's, that's a negative. Oh, yeah, huh? That's inferior product. You're full of shit. So, it's all good. You keep living the life you're living, and we'll prove it over time. Good dog. You were listening to Michael Ellis and Ivan Balabanov the other night. You you were hearing what they were talking about with the social media crap. You know, everybody's posting all this positive stuff, making it look like they're the best thing since sliced bread. In reality, good boy, good. Nope, come on. Good boy. Every dog has to go through things. You've got to work dogs through and the quality as a trainer is your ability to work the dog through it. All right, let me get him up and then get him to drop this again. Sorry for the jumble. I only got two hands, guys. Oh, he likes his little new toy. I've got to get a string on this so I can bring this. will be what I use in the stores to start all up at something else. Little skunk, little skunk. He doesn't want to let go now. All right, out. Out, come on. All right, well, we'll let you take it. Come on. I want to get it away from him. Come on. Good boy, good. Good boy. All right, Mark Fresh, Protect Dog Training with Dante.